special guest time on the show this morning in our studio. A couple of lovely ladies. I always love it when pretty ladies come. I know there are too. some pretty ladies. They're pretty in here, ladies. Kristen Harris and Galen Warner with the uh, Casa for the Hide and Lakes are here. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Thank welcome, you all for welcome. Us. We're glad you came in. Uh, uh, first of all, tell everybody what uh, Casa for the Hide and Lakes, in case they don't know what it, what it's all about. What do y'all do there? CASA for the Highland Lakes area is a volunteer-based organization, and what we do is we recruit, train, and supervise volunteers from our community who are interested in working with children who are in foster care, um, and then they go and they get to know these children, get to know their situations, and really represent their best interest in court in front of the judge so that the judge can make the most informed, best possible decision for the outcome of these children. It's a, it's a, it's a very rewarding and difficult job. Job. I, I, I know, and it's a lot of times uh, you guys are the only voice these kids have in a really difficult situation. So it's amazing what y'all do. It Thank is. You. It is, and and not only. Uh, and she said it's it's difficult because you almost you're you're becoming almost a lawyer. <laughs> I mean, you know, in some ways, yes. Yeah, in some ways, because you got to go represent these uh, these kids in the court, and so you got to know a little bit about what you're doing there. So that's why all the training and stuff's going about, right? <laughs> yes, Galen is here with me, and she's our wonderful trainer, and she does a great job of introducing the new volunteers to the court system and and how that all works. All right, and uh, what are we here to talk about this morning? What uh, what what's coming up? Well, the first thing I want to talk about is we're going to have an open house on March the 31st. Okay. We're inviting everybody that ever thought they might want to be a CASA, but they weren't sure what we did. Mm -hmm. We're going to have kind of an orientation session where we just explain it to people and give them a little bit um, of the information and inform them to see if it's something that they might want to do. It's all voluntary, too. There, there's not any pay involved for these volunteers to do this? No, they do this from the goodness of their heart people that represent children in court have a heart for children mm -hmm. yeah it's completely volunteer and do you, do you find more and more children that are, are coming in and needing help or is it slacking off any at all or? It, it unfortunately it never slacks off um, last year we represented 389 children wow. in the five counties that we serve um, mm -hmm. and that's up from the previous year where we represented 200 and 80 children I believe wow so it's it's increased greatly yeah I have a question too as far as volunteering is concerned since there are court dates and things like that how much time does a person have to have on their hands to be a volunteer if they only have like let's say 30 hours a week is that enough or do you, are there enough volunteers to where you can work around that or do you need someone that really is able to volunteer a lot of time well when you initially take a case uh, the time commitment is going to be a little bit uh, more because mm -hmm. you're getting to know the children, you're getting to know the case, and as a case goes on, the time commitment is less. When you first start a case, um, you're looking at spending about 20 hours a month, oh, but okay. typically, um, as a case progresses, you're spending about 10 hours a month. Mm -hmm. Well, that's doable. That's yeah. doable yeah. for anybody. It's totally not even doable. Yeah. 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 yeah, and I think there's um, a lot of people who really think that you have to be retired in order to put right. the amount of time that's required into this volunteer position, but that's absolutely not true. We have a lot of volunteers who work full-time jobs, too, and they're able to successfully work their case. It's just about time management, really. And yeah. if you have a heart to do this um, and you're able to manage your time, then then we can help you figure it out. Fantastic. Yeah, it's great. And uh, again, it's, it's a total volunteer situation, but it's one of those th feel-good things. After you do it, you, you got to feel great about what you've done, and, and, and it's, just a, it's just a good thing to do. It's kind of pay-it-forward kind of thing, and so that's great. And uh, and so you're looking for volunteers. You need more. I, I guess you, you're always looking for volunteers, right? Every day of the week, I'm looking for <laughs> volunteers. I'm going to start my next training class the week after Easter. Okay. Um, it's a 30-hour training class. We're going to do this class at our office in Kingsland, and we're going to do it in the evenings to accommodate people who work. Okay, great. Fantastic. Now, if people want to volunteer and, and get involved with this, tell them how to go about doing that. You can call our office at 325-388-3440, or you can contact um, me by email, and it's um, you can go to our website, which is www cost highland lakes casa .com, mm -hmm. and it will um you can go to the volunteer tab and click on it and fill out an information form and then i will contact you All fantastic right. and as far as the open house is concerned on the 31st where is that going to be 
It's going to be um, in our house, at our <laughs> Casa office in Kingsland. In the Kingsland office. Yeah, okay. it's 1719 Ridgeview in Kingsland. Okay, and the okay. date again? March 31st. And the time? 4.30 to 6.30. 4.30 to 6.30. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, ladies, for coming in, and I uh, hope you volunteer out there if you're listening to help a great cause and, and go to the open house as well and uh, meet these fine folks. Christian Harris, Galen Warren, and the Casa for the Highland Lakes. Thank you all. Good job. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. It.